Hey, superstars! It's Miss Slate and Bella, and we're gonna make a science project today. What are we gonna make, Bella? A rainbow in a jar. Yay! Okay, so you need four glasses of water with a half a cup in each one warmed up in the microwave for just about 30 seconds at work. You will also need sugar, food coloring, a tablespoon, and something to stir it with. And then as well as a glass of some sort that you can move the um, water from here to there in. All right, let's get started. All right, so our first step, we are going to take our food coloring and we are going to put two drops into each one of our cups. So this one is red. And I'm gonna take yellow. That looks really cool, look at all that It falls. does look pretty cool. Let me move this so everybody can see. Oh, that one looks cool right, too. You can do the green and the blue. Okay. One. Two. Awesome. Fun fact, my favorite color is actually green. <laughs> I'm gonna put this here. All right, so our second step is we are going to take our sugar and we are going to take two tablespoons. So one, two for the red, but we're gonna count up by twos. Two, four, six, eight. So this one gets four. One. Two, three, four. All right, so the next one? Okay, so it's six. Two, four, six. Go all the way to the top if you have to use your finger to kind of slide it over. I don't think you have quite enough. Try it one more time. It's not very easy. My mom made there it you go. Really Perfect. Easy. So, one. Two, three, okay. four, five, six. Awesome. So, what? How many for the next one, you guys? Two, Two four, six. six this is gonna be a lot. I'm gonna get you a little more sugar. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> One. Two. Three. Four. Six, seven, eight. Awesome. So now I want you guys to be able to look at the different colors. Do any of them look a little more dense than the others? We're going to go ahead and stir. Luckily, I had paintbrushes that were the exact same color as the color, food coloring we were using. I'll start with the blue. Awesome, so stir it all up, and let's see if we can see like how some of them look a little thinner and some of them look a little thicker depending on how much sugar we put in there. Okay, so you wanna stir until it looks like it, the sugar is all dissolving. And if you have popsicle sticks at home or you wanna use a spoon, any of that will work. I just use the paint brushes um, because that's what I found. <laughs> All right, so what we are going to do is we are going to pour about an inch of blue down here at the bottom. So are you using this yet? Um, maybe that might help. So if you take a straw 
and you just stick it into there and you hold the top it'll hold it within the straw and wow. then you can just kind of drop it in look how cool that is all right so i ended up going ahead and just pouring some in there it was a little quicker than using the straw but you will need the straw for the next step so for the green can i do it yep let me just show you so okay. we're going to once again put our finger over the top so that it holds it within but when you drip it you want to drip it along the edge of the glass so it just slowly goes in and we're going to keep doing that until some of that green starts floating above the water causing a rainbow effect so there you go bella you can go ahead and keep on going thank you yep, and then go along the edge of the glass i do it close to the blue also Ooh. Is that a lot? A lot? I think it's fine. Just keep going. So we have about an inch of this water. An inch? This is a lot. Alright you guys, so we're going to do just a couple more drops. This does take a little longer than we thought it would. So you just got to have patience. But we're going to go ahead and move to the yellow. But if you look closely, you can see the blue and the green stripes. It does look like there's more green than blue right now but that's okay all right so now we're going to move over to the yellow remember when you're putting it in do it close to the edge of the jar that's pretty important because when i read about this how to do this experiment it said that if you just pour it in it'll make kind of a jumbled mess so you want to make sure that you're making your stripes so you get your rainbow mm. all right so i'm going to hold it up a little closer again that is what we have so far. I feel like the yellow mixed well with the green, and so it's hard to see. If you look closely in person, you can see it a little bit. But we're gonna go ahead and move on to the red, and maybe it'll show up a little more. So I'm gonna take the red and go along the edge. And because we had less sugar here, it should go up to the top. Where the one, the water with the... Oh, I can already see it starting to see the red. Most sugar should be down at the bottom. I can already see the red, everyone. Wow. I just hope it doesn't overpower the yellow. I'm wondering if it'll sit on top and we might be able to see it. Whoa! That'd be Listen very Listen to nice. all these hypotheses. When you do an experiment, you should always make little guesses. What do you think is going to happen? And then at the end, you can see what the conclusion is. All right, so we're gonna put just the last couple of drops in here, but if you look at our jar, you can see the different layers. I see blue at the bottom, then I see green. The yellow is a little bit harder to see, but then I see the red on top. So we're gonna take a little pause. We're gonna come back in a little bit, and when we come back, we're gonna see if maybe once it settles, another hypothesis here, if once it settles, I wonder if it is going to go ahead and show all the layers a little bit better. That'd be really cool if it did. So you guys, we've waited about an hour to try to let it settle a little bit and let's see what it looks like. I think this is pretty cool. So I brought this out a little bit more in the sunlight. It's not a very sunny day. It's a little more gloomy outside. But over here, you can see it a little better than over there in the shade. So you can see the different layers. I see the blue, the green. When we hold it up in the sunlight, you see a little more yellow there and then the red. But because the red and the yellow are next to each other, it almost looks a little bit orangey. But let me go ahead and try to hold this up right here for you. Look at that. I can see the yellow in there. I think it's so cool. So if you try this at home in person, it probably looks even more cool. So go ahead and give it a try. Have fun.